it's good to make up your own mind, but it's also good to know when others know more than you. Now, Lake didn't want to hear that either, so he said, Father, I'm going out into the world, where I can do things just as I like. His father begged Lake not to go, but the more he pleaded, the more Lake was set on it. Finally, his father said, Your stubbornness is bound to land you in trouble, but at least take this piece of advice. Whatever you do, do not go to work for the troll. So where do you think Lake went? Right to the house of the troll. Lake knocked on the door, and the troll himself answered it. He was huge and a good deal uglier than anyone you'd care to meet. Pardon me, sir. I'm looking for work. Are you now? Said the troll, feeling the boy's arm. I could use a fellow like you. The troll led him into the stable and said, Taking my goats to the pasture. This is your first day. I won't ask much of you. Just shuffle out all this dung. Well, that's kind of you, sir. You're surely easy to please. Just don't go looking for your room to the house, or you won't get to tell about it. When the troll had gone, Lake said to himself, Not look for the room to the house? Well, that's just what I want to do. <coughs> Now, 
Blake saw lots of silver, gold, and gems, and he figured it wouldn't hurt to ask for extra and then keep some for himself. So he said, as much as you can give me. As soon as he said it, silver, gold, and gems came streaming out of the mountains <laughs> and piled up around him. In a few moments, he was nearly buried, but the treasure kept coming. I've changed my mind just as much as I can carry. The pile flew back into the mountain, and the fairy handed him a sack. Long then till they had Master Maid home, and not long again till they had a wedding. 